My name is Eric Porn, and I am a special effects makeup artist. I've worked on everything from movies like Pineapple Express, Superbad, um, Devil, The Crazies, MTV's Teen Wolf, uh, Sarah Connor Chronicles, even did some uh, seasons of Dollhouse. Uh, when I was younger, I was, I was terrible. I used to terrify the neighborhood and put blood all over the place, uh, scare my parents, scare, you know, kids at school, fake knives with blood on them. Anything I could do just to get a reaction out of people. But, you know, it was fun. It was like Halloween 365 days a year. I would see these people that their job was to sit around and just make monsters for a living. I said, how cool is that? I want to do that when I get older. My mother passed away when I was 21, but my father's still alive and kicking. And well, my mother inspired me to do a lot, of, a lot of my artistic endeavors. Yeah, she was an artist too. I worked at a video store for so long that everybody would come in and always kind of joke about me wanting to make movies and well you're working at this video store and blah 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 and this and that and eventually you know I just got sick of it and said I gotta I gotta get out of here if I don't get out of here I'm never gonna change it and people are just gonna keep laughing about it and they're gonna always make fun and you know because the one thing that they love in those little towns is to see people that have big dreams fall flat on their face they love it first moved out to LA. It was kind of a terrifying time. Uh, I mean, horrifying, really. I came out here, I had no job. Lived on friends' couches for the first, like, four months, and I got a call from Almost Human maybe five days into my stay here because I had a funny last name, and so um, Rob, who owns Almost Human, he called me in because he didn't believe that my last name was real, and he wanted to talk to me about it, and then, you know, by the end of the interview, he said, well, I'll hire you if I can call you porn by your last name, and I said, well, if you're signing my paychecks, call me whatever you want. Growing up, I, I never really was able to relate to people that well. It, it, I think it's kind of hard to, it's it kind of hard to find like relationships and things, you know, you're always working. I mean, I, I've tried dating in the city of LA and it's crazy because most of the time you'll get people that say, I don't want to date someone that doesn't have a job and is not financially sound. But then at the same token, if you have a job and you are financially sound, then you work too much and they don't think that you have enough time for them. You know I'm not one to break promises I don't want to hurt you but I need to breathe And it feels like I am just too close to love you I've always had these, these really strong feelings when something is about to happen, something good. Something's right around the corner, I can tell you that much.